Here what I'd like to show you is hopefully it can benefit somebody else because this is a problem I had to struggle with myself. Now this here up on the right side, this is an image of the job that I just completed with my self-made, you know, on a budget, if you if you will, uh, scaffold. And I'm going to show you how I made it because, it, you know, it was it was it was quite a little challenge to create something like this on the fly because uh, I really wanted to do this. However, I was having a lot of difficulty because of the steep pitch of the roof and the and the height requirement for a little guy like me at five nine. It was just impossible for me to get up there. Factor in the height, the grading, the wind, the reaching, the the fear of having the paint can and everything else. It was it was quite a quite a thing to think about. I tell you, it was really hard on the nerves, but. This is what I created. I came up with it with some basic stuff that I had lying around the house. It was actually very safe and stable, more, more so than I even thought was even possible until I was actually on it. So this is how it was in a nutshell. I have a 24-foot uh, a fiberglass ladder. Now, what I did with this ladder is I actually had it on this uh, little where the edge of the lawn was. I actually butted it up against there, and I laid the feet down, so that way I had somewhat of a good starting point. Okay. Now, what I also did is I took a ladder like this one. I had an extra aluminum ladder and I actually used this. And what I did is I actually had my wife actually take it and had her lean it from here to here and just put some minor weight on it just to keep things in check. However, this structure actually never moved and she felt like she uh, didn't even need to be there. However, it was nice to have her there as moral support. So more is always better and that's that's what I'm about safety because you know you don't want to get hurt. That's the last thing you want. So here's here's some other stuff that I needed to uh, get this job done. I'm going to show you right now. I used a two by ten. So this board right here, I had and I screwed uh, three drywall screws straight down on this two by four, and I actually let that run along, you know, the horizontal ridge of these roof shingles. On the other side, I actually had enough going over, and I took a, two pieces of chain and I kind of crisscrossed it around. I'm going to show you how I did it like this. I had one piece of chain going around this way and the other one going around the other direction and I secured them both with one drywall screw just to keep them tentatively in place. Nothing crazy so that way the um, the chain was digging into the wood or anything that serious but it kept it nice and t rigid and tight and that was the key. Here's an underside view so you can see one of the screws right there and you can see that I mean they're, they're snug but you know not pulled you know like the Hulker or anything like that in any way. This is what it looked like from here going towards the uh, the roof edge. And I'll tell you, man, this thing worked fantastic. You could safely stand on this thing. And myself, I'm 167 pounds now, um, maybe a couple pounds more than I should be. However, this these here I was able to do by myself, the corbels. The one underneath it was a little weird to you know be in that position and looking upwards and doing the painting. However, this one was very scary, especially being a righty. Doing this was was awful. When I did get done to this point, you can see that this one here is still white, and the left side from the back end of the side of the house wasn't painted. I just simply took my 26 foot ladder, moved it up here, jammed it up up into this area as best as I could, keep it stable. Just simply walked up, finished the front fascia and the back end of it, and this job was done. And you can see it looks great. It's terrific. Didn't have to hire anybody. Um, no bucket trucks or anything extreme. Didn't have to pay an external house painter or anything, anybody like that. You can do it yourself with some basic stuff if you have around the house or maybe a, a friend or a neighbor. These are the things that you need to do the job. A simple piece of 2 by 10 and a couple good sturdy ladders. Even just one you could have actually got away with. Just the one ladder that I use here. And that's it. You could do this job yourself. So I hope this helps you. Um, that's it for now.